Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. We're headed to the hardware store. Today we're doing a little DIY for you guys, as you can tell from the title of this video. We're gonna be building some towel racks in our bathroom, some hand towel holders and some toilet paper holders because we bought a brand new house and although there's lots of beautiful things in there, it's missing those things. So we're gonna do some like rustic looking, I'm sure you can see it in the thumbnail of this video, but we're starting off the video now, headed to the hardware store. We'll film while we're there, kind of getting all of our stuff. But I have a list of the things that I think we need to get and then once we're home and we have all of the supplies, I'll kind of lay it out for you and tell you exactly what you're gonna need to build all of these things. Let's, Let's go. go. finished up at the hardware store and we spent a grand total of $86.59 for all of our supplies. So let's go home and build some stuff. Oh yeah. All right, we are back home. So I'm gonna kind of give you guys an overview of everything that we got and tell you what you're gonna need for each different thing. Cause we are making three different things today. So we got this Let's see, this is poplar wood, and I believe it's a one by six. We got a seven foot board, not exactly sure how much we're gonna be needing, probably like five and a half feet, but we didn't wanna have, um, you know, not enough. We'd rather have too much instead of not enough. So I'm going to be staining this. Donnie's gonna do all the cuts, and then I'm going to stain it. I just got this Verathane wood stain in the color Kona, so it is a dark wood kind of like espresso, I guess you would call it, um, to match our doors in our house, as you can see. So we're gonna be doing some towel hooks um, in the kids' bathroom. It's gonna be about, I think, two feet, and there's going to be three hooks on there. So these are the hooks that we got, and it comes with the screws. So these are just Everbuilt single robe hooks. There's three for the kids' towel rack, and then we have two for our towel rack and then I also got two more because we're gonna do some hand towel holders to go next to the sinks in the two bathrooms and then for the toilet paper holders in each bathroom this is three-quarter inch floor flange galvanized iron so this will go on here we just have double of each because we're doing two of them so this will go on the wood like this and this did not come with screws but Donnie already had screws what kind of screws are you going to be using for that just, just wood screws okay um, and then what will bolt into this or screw into this is these shorter pieces and these are three quarter by two and a half nipple <laughs> so that will screw into there and then we have this little elbow so that will go on to there like so and then this longer piece is what the toilet paper will go on to this is a three quarter inch by six inch nipple. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know why that makes me laugh. Sorry. And then this is a three quarter inch cap that will go on the end like this. So now that I've kind of explained everything to you guys, Donnie is going to make all the measure and make all the cuts. And while he's doing that, I will, like I said, put the dimensions on the screen for you guys so you know exactly um, 
how big everything is going to be. And then once he does the cuts, we will start staining. And I'm just gonna wear some rubber gloves and use a paper towel to stain. Um, and then we will be attaching the hardware after that and then we'll be hanging them up in the house. So let's get started. I also want to mention Donnie has this skill saw that he's using to do the cuts, but if you don't have one of these, you can have them do the cuts for you at your hardware store. Typically, I mean, we went to Home Depot, but any hardware store, I believe, will do the cuts for you. So that is an option. cuts. Time to stain. We're actually going to use just some old t-shirt rags to stain instead of paper towels. All right, so now we are getting ready to attach the hardware. We're gonna start with the hand towel holders. So that's just a single hook. And we were looking at the hardware that came with it and it's just like, will you show them, like hold it up to the board. Um, it's just a little bit too long. So he's still gonna use these screws that came with it. Really close. It's, it's not really close. So if the tip like comes through the back side, he's just gonna grind it off. So that is an option, but you guys will have to probably just play around with whatever hardware you get and see what the screws are like, but there's different options, obviously. I 
I said it's just barely starting to poke through. It's not even a problem. Perfect, so we don't have to worry about it then. All right, so a project would not be a project without something being wrong. These little elbow pieces are not the right size. They must have been like in the wrong bin or something and we didn't look at like the label. So in the beginning when I showed you guys all the parts, that was not correct. So we're gonna have to go grab some different elbow pieces. Yep. Um, but these parts fit in, so we just need that elbow piece to go mm -hmm. right there. So. We'll be back in about two seconds for you guys, but somebody has to go to the store. All right, I'm back with the right elbow right there. Number eight by three quarter inch long wood screws. I'm going to use these screws right here to attach the base to the wood. We already had them. There might be better ones out there, but these will do just fine. Okay, we're here in the kids' bathroom now, and we have all of their stuff done, so we're gonna get these hung up first.
getting ready to hang up the hand towel, which we only made one, even though we got two sinks, but we just decided to do one. And then of course the two shower towel hanger and the toilet. The, <laughs> the toilet hanger? The toilet hanger. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. The TP hanger. TP hanger. All right, you guys, that is gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for sticking it out to the end. I hope you enjoyed watching us make all of these fun things for our bathroom. And if you guys have any questions about any of it, just send me a message over on Instagram and I will try to answer that for you guys. But thank you again. Be sure to subscribe if you are new and we will see you in our next video. Bye.